Hello and welcome back to It Binks' Guide to the Beast Tribe. We are in the East Shroud with the Slips. And if you're looking to teleport here versus going by foot, uh, it, the teleportation point is going to be Hawthorne Hut. These are standalone quests, and I do recommend highly having flying in order to be able to do these, as the guys are really everywhere you need to go is in here. And these guys are packed in there so tight, it's just save your sanity. It's, it's better just to be able to fly over the top of things. Alright, today's, or this one rather, is going to be Moxia with Pending Peril. Podling Peril, excuse me. Podling Peril is what this one is called. Level 48 quests. I think this one is actually going to be one for having a level. Yeah. Okay. So this is one that I actually recommend being minimum level 50, if not probably 55 or 60, to be honest. So the quest level itself is 48, and if this is the one that I think it is, which I'm pretty sure it is, uh, we are kind of buggery. We're going somewhere up in here. Okay, I'm not going to find it on my own. I'm going to need it to pinpoint for me. Okay, that's, yep, it's all the way up there. Okay, so if you're ever having problems finding this, um, you can actually click on the thing, click on the quest, and then hit map, and that goes for any quest. Click on the quest, hit map, and it'll clear everything else out and give you exactly where that is. I couldn't see that because if we go back to our standard map, it's under a fate right now. So, <laughs> that's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> so, we are running up yonder here. But, if this is the one that I think it is, which we'll find out here shortly, because I haven't done Moxie's ones, like, I don't remember those ones as well as I do the others. Um, this one, the reason why I want you to be higher level is that I'm pretty sure you have to run this seedling all the way out. Which means you're running through all of these dudes. And you get penalized if you drop, like, you have to start over if you drop the seed or run out of time or get attacked. So, you're going to want to be as high level as you possibly can to even attempt this. So, you, or you can just run by things and not have to worry about it. So, if this is the one that I think it is, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Or possibly not. We'll see. There is one in here that I don't remember the name of. Let's see if this is one that I think is. Because there is one that you have to do that. Carry the poly back to you. Yep. Still have, so this is the one that I'm thinking of. So we have 50 seconds to complete this task. Should you fail, return to the starting location to begin anew. Be wary of attacks from enemies. Should you find yourself tiring, seek out patches of glimmering moon grass, which will restore your strength. And you are now holding a seed, and you are stuck walking. Zoom in. Make sure you know where the hell you're walking. So, we'll see if I can do this in one whack. But our counter is up here. I'm already at 35. We need to go to moon grass in order to keep our strength up. If we get attacked by enemies, I believe we end up dropping our seed and we have to start over, which is why you want, and you have to right click on this in order to get to interact. But that is why you want, probably I need to go that way. You want to be higher level because I was just able to walk past that guy. Like good luck getting through that area without aggroing that guy in any kind of decent amount of time. We need um, moon grass, please. We got 24 seconds here. Haha! -ha. Ooh, gotten that close. Alright, here we are. Gather our strength. Off we go. And this route that I am taking, which went through here like this, that is definitely the easiest and best route. Well, it's also really the only route. Don't fall... F I, the first time I did this quest, I went through there and got dead-ended. You can't do that. You gotta go through. You gotta take the left path. Grass, 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 moon, grass, moon, grass. 
There's moon grass over there. We're gonna grab this moon grass over here. Technically, I need to go down, but I'm going to grab moon grass and then go. <laughs> <laughs> Again, there's a lot of guys in here that are going to attack you, so it's especially next to the moon grass. So like. We're gonna grab moon grass again. No, no, come on. There we go. I probably should have taken my minion off my shoulder. Okay, we are almost there. Running, running. I actually might do this in one whack. But you should be able to see now at this point why it's important to be able to just walk past everything. So, this quest is going to be borderline impossible, otherwise. Alright, destination. Right-click when you hit the destination. It does not automatically trigger. Give them the seed, and you are good to go. And you can fly back to Moxia. But yes, so that is that quest where it's like, with this one, specifically. So this is Podling Peril, is what this one is called. You get it for Moxia. It's technically a level 48 quest. I highly recommend not only having flying, but also probably being level 55 at least. 50, 55. You might be able to pull it off with 50. I'm not 100% on that one. 55 though, you should be able to pull it off at 55. And I know at 60 you can, because I did it at 60 the first time. So. Oh god, why am I running up the fucking ramp? I have such a hard time with that ramp. Okay. So again, this is Moxia. Podling Peril is what this one was called. Make sure you gather up the moon grass, because if you don't, then you will drop the seedling. Don't get attacked by dudes, because if you do, you will drop the seedling. And then you have to start over. 